Now, next team I wanted to ask you about, Tennessee. You got Your model's got them number five in the SEC East. But something very interesting I picked up, if you go down in your preview book, which, again, you can find on Adam's Patreon page, but you got them listed as, you know, the pieces when you when you correlate the talent on the roster and the coaching staff that Tennessee has a playoff profile. Now, you're certainly not suggesting that they're going to make a run to the playoff, but did that surprise you at all that uh, Tennessee, that, that your model at least has projects that Tennessee has the pieces uh, that, that other playoff teams in the past have had? Well, you know, talent has never really been an issue at Tennessee, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they, they've recruited well the past you know, four or five years in a row. Pruitt did a good job of, of getting talent in there. It just, you know, it never quite came together for him on the field. Josh Heupel, he inherited a good situation at Central Florida. He, took, he, was, he was taken over for an undefeated, you know, Scott Frost team there. And it's tough to tell whether he rode a little bit on those coattails or did, did he develop that into his own situation. The model seems, is, is kind of split. It's got him as an, as an A-minus head coach in those, th- you know, in those three years of experience. Typically, I don't like to, to call it grade solid until after the fourth year. So um, he's still kind of in that wishy-washy, wishy-washy mode as far as his, his grading is. But he, there's no denying he's a good offensive, offensive play caller. Um, I, I do believe he will be calling the plays himself in, in Knoxville. Um, he's got 10 years of experience of that in that database. And he's a B plus great, uh, graded uh, uh, offensive coordinator. Tim Banks is his defensive coordinator that he's chosen. Um, not as quite as high on him. He's a C minus type guy. So I was a little shocked to see that the, that the model thought so highly of his coaching staff. But I think a lot of that is, is that as, as a head coach, his his grade isn't quite solid yet, and it's riding a lot on on the off- offensive side of the ball. Which anybody who knows you know, a, a regime change or has experienced that with their team knows that there's going to be some roster turnover and maybe the body types don't fit quite what, what Josh Heifel wants to do. I mean, Jeremy Pruitt and Jim Chaney, when, when, when he was there running, running the offense, they recruited big offensive linemen. They wanted to maul people. That's kind of the opposite of what Josh Heifel, Josh Heifel is going to want to do. He's going to want to get up pace and, and, and snap the ball quickly. So we'll, we'll just have to see um, um, how that how that turns out in the field this year. It's going to be a heck of a... Uh, I go this transition as far as strength conditioning is concerned, and we'll see if that gets done in Knoxville. I have no idea if you keep track of these numbers, but I but you just made me think of something. Is Jeremy Pruitt uh, the worst coach that your model's seen in recent SEC history, or, or does another one stand out? Um, no, uh, Chad Morris was worse. <laughs> <laughs> Chad Morris was worse. <laughs> so that's, that's one that sticks out pretty clearly. Will Muschamp wasn't far behind. So, 